A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The mother of Jesus and his brothers came to him but were unable to join him because of the crowd. He was told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and they wish to see you. He said to them in reply, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act on it. The gospel of the Lord. Well, in our society, dads get one day, moms get one day, but sharks get a whole week. Today we honor the world's greatest mother, our blessed mother, who wants to see her son Jesus when he's preaching. He's in a, a house and it's so crowded, she cannot get to see him. And she's there along with who, those who are called the brothers of the Lord, the brothers of Jesus. So first, who are these brothers of the Lord? We know that the word brother can also include other relatives, for example, nephews, uncles, even other relatives, even people from his own village. So the, these brothers of Jesus are mentioned by name in Matthew's gospel as James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas. And we know also from St. Matthew's gospel and also the gospel of John who they are. They are the sons of Mary, the wife of Clopas, who was at the foot of the cross. Matthew describes um, their names and as well as St. John's gospel. So we know also from the historian Josephus that James, the cousin of the Lord, would become the first bishop of Jerusalem. And after he was martyred, then one of the other cousins of the Lord, Simon, would become the second bishop of Jerusalem. And Eusebius clearly states that they are cousins of the Lord. So again, Our Lady was not in perpetual labor. She wasn't having all these other children. The church has officially defined in its dogma that Mary only had one son physically, our Lord Jesus Christ, and that these other relatives mentioned here, these brothers of the Lord, were other relatives of our Lord Jesus. Well, today they come to try to talk to the Lord. It says they were standing outside. Our Lady is always standing to do the will of God. We know she would stand at the foot of the cross, so Our Lady is standing outside of the house. They can't even get in. We also know from the other gospel that some of the Lord's relatives wanted to come to see him because they said that he is out of his mind. Of course, Our Lady was not one of those who thought that, but these other relatives and townsfolk were concerned about the Lord. They said he's out of his mind, the other gospel says. So they, they come to try to see Jesus, and he's told, your mother and your brothers are standing outside and wish to see you. The Lord then uses this as a teaching moment. And he says, my mother and my brothers are those who hear the word of God and act upon it. So sometimes our Protestant friends will use this as a statement that our Lord was downgrading his blessed mother or even criticizing his blessed mother. But of course, that could not be the case. Jesus was perfect. He always honored his mother according to the commandments. Honor, honor your father and mother. In fact, he actually pays his blessed mother a compliment that it wasn't just because she gave birth to him physically that we should honor her, but that she was a disciple of Christ, that she was a disciple of the Lord, that she heard the word of God and acted upon it. And in all human history, nobody heard the word of God and acted upon it more perfectly than our blessed mother. At the Annunciation, she said, once she discovered God's will, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done unto me according to thy word. So Mary heard the word of God and acted upon it. She said yes to the angel Gabriel, and then the Holy Spirit would descend upon her and she would give birth to the Son of God. Our Lady then, once she knew that Elizabeth, her cousin, was about to give birth, it says immediately Our Lady went into the hill country to help her cousin. So again, we see Our Lady hearing the word of God and acting upon it. When she would give birth to Jesus, they had to go to Bethlehem. Immediately, she and Joseph went to do God's will. At the wedding feast of Cana, Our Lady did the will of God. At the foot of the cross, Our Lady stood at the foot of the cross. At Pentecost, she was at the early church. So 
So most perfectly fulfilling the will of God, hearing it and doing it was our Blessed Mother. So St. Augustine says that Mary was twofold the mother of Jesus. She gave birth to him physically, but she also became a disciple of Christ and a follower of Christ. <clears throat> and of course, the good news is, is that you and I can also become part of God's family if we hear the word of God and do God's will in our life. And all the saints say that, to be holy, do the will of God. And so you and I should not be disappointed that we're not physically related to the Lord. That's not the most important part. The most important part is to hear the word of God and do it in our life. And then we too can truly become the brothers and sisters and spiritual relations with the Lord.